Stephen Stearns will never get out of jail if convicted of the 60 new charges filed against him this week. Yeah, that is what a former officer turned professor says about the lead suspect in 13 year old Madeline Soto's death. Well, she's Megan Mulatto found out why there is still no charge specifically for her death. No matter what, he's not getting out of jail. Professor of Forensic Studies at Florida Gulf Coast University, David Thomas, says if Stephen Stearns is convicted, he will never see a day outside a jail cell. Originally, they charged him, I think it was one or two charges in the very beginning. And, that, and that's fine because they got him off the phone. And so now what they've done is they've done a, for, a complete forensic analysis. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind that's exactly what they did. And he has recorded almost every incident that he had. Stearns is the lead suspect in the death of 13-year-old Madeline Soto. He was arrested for several charges, including sexual battery with a child, after detectives found pictures and videos on his phone. Then they found more evidence, leading the state attorney's office to file 60 new charges against him Monday including 40 counts of unlawful possession of materials depicting sexual performance by a child and eight counts of sexual battery on a child under 12. The charges, enough to be sentenced to life in prison if convicted. Capital felonies means that he will face life, he'll, he'll be in prison for life. And there's no doubt in my mind that they have the evidence to, to secure, uh, for, to make those charges, they have the evidence to support that. Thomas says now the question is life in prison or the death penalty if Stearns is charged with Madeline's murder. He says there's likely already enough circumstantial evidence to charge Stearns with murder, but he thinks detectives with Kissimmee Police want to make sure their case is sealed. Is give them, give law enforcement and give the medical examiner's office an opportunity to, to do their job because it takes time to, to do a great forensic analysis is they want to make sure that that justice is served and, and served properly. In Kissimmee, Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News.